For years, Mizuno has been known for making some of the finest muscle back blades and better player irons in the game of golf. But the company also makes a full array of other clubs too, including wedges. And this is the new Mizuno T24 wedge. And if you're a golfer who's looking for more spin and a lot more versatility around the greens, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video. Now, first things first, the Mizuno T24 wedges are forged in a very similar fashion to the way that Mizuno forges its irons. That means it's grain flow forged. And in this case, the company is using mild carbon steel. Now that's a very, very soft material. So at the moment of impact, you're gonna be able to tell exactly where in the hitting area the ball is making contact. Now that steel has been infused with boron. Boron makes the material harder, which is a good thing in wedges because it's gonna to help to increase the durability of the grooves. So you get that sharp groove for a longer period of time. But the trick is the boron doesn't make the mild carbon and steel feel any harder. So you're gonna keep getting that soft feel, but with increased durability in the grooves. Mizuno was one of the first companies out there to have grooves in its wedges that change based on each club's loft. The pitching wedges and the gap wedges with lofts between say 46 degrees up to about 52 degrees have narrow grooves that are going to be somewhat deeper and they're gonna be packed more tightly together. The reason for that is that you're gonna be using those clubs almost exclusively on full swing shots from the fairway. So it's basically making a wedge that's a good extension of your irons. So you wanna have iron style grooves in those wedges. Now because Mizuno has adjusted the way that it physically manufactures those grooves, they're able to pack more grooves numerically onto the faces of the pitching wedges and the gap wedges in the T24 family. But when you transition then into the sand wedges and the lob wedges, 54 degrees up to 60 degrees, they're gonna be numerically fewer grooves. However, they're gonna be wider and they're gonna be shallower because you're gonna be using 54 degree wedges up to say a 60 degree lob wedge, much more around the green. So your real concern there is getting water and debris off of the face and not get it between the golf ball and the grooves themselves, the hitting area. Now it may be somewhat counterintuitive, but according to Mizuno, when you spread out the grooves a little bit more on the sand wedges and the lob wedges, which are gonna be swung with a little bit lower club head speed, the grooves themselves can do a better job of grabbing onto the cover of the golf ball and creating more spin. And that means around the greens, you're gonna get more control. Now from a looks perspective, this might be the cleanest wedge that Mizuno has released in quite some time. And Mizuno's really trying to lean into what makes it very popular in the iron market. So the company has made the top line a little bit thinner. It's shortened up the blade length, all those things that players look for in better player irons. They're, they're gonna find it in these wedges. But at the same time, a little bit of extra mass has been positioned right back here in the high toe area. That's gonna help to elevate the center of gravity so that you're gonna put the center of gravity a little bit more in line with the golf ball. And it's gonna help to create that driving, piercing flight that a lot of golfers are gonna really like when they get into their wedges. At the same time though, because they've rolled this top line a little bit, you're not gonna see that extra mass when you're in the address position. You're gonna see that very, very thin top line. Again, something that a lot of players really look for in a wedge. And from a finish standpoint, there are gonna be three different finishes. There's a raw steel finish, there is a white chrome finish, as well as a denim copper finish. And all of those finishes are gonna be available throughout all of the sets. And again, these wedges are gonna be available from 46 degrees with a traditional pitching wedge all the way up to 60 degrees in a lob wedge, even increments, of course. One of the biggest new features that Mizuno is excited about in the T24 family of wedges is the number of sole grinds that are gonna be available to consumers. In fact, there are gonna be five of them. They range from a very straight sole in the S to a C grind, to a D, to an X for players who are gonna be looking for more help out of bunkers, all the way down to this new V grind. Now the V grind, you'll notice, has a seam that's gonna be running from heel to toe right through the middle of the sole. And that creates a little bit of forward bounce so that players, when they play this from a square position, should be able to get the benefit of that bounce. However, when you take a V grind and you open up the face, you'll get the benefit of having a significant amount of heel and toe relief. So it should be easier to slide slide the leading edge underneath the golf ball from tighter lies or in especially firm sand. So if you're gonna be in the market for some new wedges this season, you might wanna to talk to a good custom fitter about the new Mizuno T24 family of wedges.